Well, I was going to get her to focus on me, but she's back now. I, can't, I'm gonna think, I think I'm going to ult the wave and see if she'll dash at me. And she did. Let's go ahead and get her in the whirlwind. Take a tower shot. Take a zephyr. Oh, and minions! Nice. Well done, minions. Welcome back, Chrono Troops, to more Smite Rank Duel. With your boy Chrono Kitty playing your favorite breezy boy, hopefully, Kokol Khan. So we are currently uh, in the banning process now. I'm skipping my ban, so my uh, enemy player will uh, pick their favorite god, hopefully. They're starting off with a Bakasura, Hebo, Pele, Hera. And their fifth band is going to be Poseidon. Let's go ahead and lock in. And see who the enemy plays. So let's see. From their bands, they're picking a lot of the really strong rank duel gods. So it is, uh, to me, anybody's guess who they might be going with. Hmm. Let's see. They did block Poseidon Hebo. So they might be going with a god that is easily killed. And they went with uh, Bakasura and Pele. So maybe a mage or perhaps an assassin. We shall see. And it's going to be Nemesis. Nemesis is a exceptional god and uh, quite scary to play against and actually a really good pick maybe because I uh, skipped my bands they didn't know a good god to play into me since I wasn't kinda showing my hand at all as to who I might be playing so Nemesis is a good pick when you don't know who at, at all you're gonna be playing against you have no clue because her ultimate uh, takes uh, you, the uh, enemies, 30% of the enemies' defenses away from them. And then also her basic attacks, her passive ability, will steal power from the enemy and give it to her. I believe up to 5% perhaps. Let's go ahead and sit over here at the corner and see if we're gonna get these minis or not and she's coming out at at one so I'm just gonna sneak around I'm gonna kinda slide left because I don't want her to hit me with an ability she's going in she probably wants to do her dash or she has a, actually a double dash so I'm just gonna drop that and then kinda back up let the whirlwind do work. So there's the ability I didn't want to get hit by. The slice and dice. She's appropriately trying to hit the minions and me. She just used her shield ability. Oh, that one minion. Okay, cool. And the minions are going to walk into my whirlwind. Let's see if I can take those out before she can get damage camp and looks like I can so back off again so I don't get hit with slice and dice an interesting note about her dash is since it's a double dash she actually has some ability to use but but abilities between the dash so she can dash forward slice and dice with her another ability which is a uh, attack damage in front of her Ooh, let's see if we can get this. And ooh, she uh, blocked it by dashing right at us. Excellent move. And we need to get out of here. We need to med. We need to med. Yeah, we're going to need to med. And she's going back. Doesn't look like she was able to get it though. She's probably waiting for me to drop my whirlwind knowing that I didn't have it up. Let's go ahead and ult. Let's go ahead and 
Ooh. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We are a basic attack or two away from death. But our minion wave is pushed up at her tower. So she might not want to complete the damage camp. We'll see. Next wave is up. Oh, but anyway, as I was saying, she can dash, use slice and dash, and then dash back. Which is a really cool use of her ability. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of dash past her. She did get damage camp. Let's see, I'm trying to get a Zephyr on her. And then I'll dip out. I'd love, now that I have a little bit of defense, I'd love for my minions to do work. I'd love for her to, I'd love for her to attack me. And I'll go ahead and get out. And she is out again. I'm going to go ahead and go back. Well, no. Let's go ahead and grab these minions. And we can grab second minions. Use our ult for that. And since she did get damage camp, we'll just grab the timer on it and immediately go back. That's going to allow us to push up wave safely. It's going to allow us to heal up and then get back in tank uh, back in time for next wave. So next wave is just spawning now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I should have a, enough time to grab mana camp, and then get back over into lane. So I seem to be uh, getting a little bit of the level, which is a positive thing against any god. I'm going to go ahead and back it up. Nice. Got her with the Zephyr. She has about 75% life. She hurt. Okay, she just double dashed. She just sliced and diced. I'm going to try to get her... Well, I was going to get her to focus on me, but she's back now. I, can't, I think I'm going to ult the wave and see if she'll dash at me. And she did. Let's go ahead and get her in the Whirlwind, take a Tower Shot, take a Zephyr. Oh, and Minions! Nice. Well done, Minions. She was extremely low. Let's go ahead and give her some Tower Shots, and then we will back off. Again, we will hide over here in Damage Camp and back. We'll get to Fountain. Now we should have enough for Brush Plate of Valor. Heal up. Get back in the lane with this minion wave you see coming up now. We have 30 cooldown based off of Shoes and Brush Plate of Valor. Once when we almost have uh, Guardian's Blessing stacked, I'm going to go ahead and just run up to these minions. Kind of maybe pull her back with me so that she uses her abilities on me instead of my minion wave allowing my minion wave to get all the way into tower. Let's see if I can get a Zephyr, Whirlwind, Ult, and... Oh, no! Well, then. And... Ah! The, the early surrender by the Nemesis. Wow, I did not expect that. Um, I do have three levels on her, but... Uh, I felt that she could have come back easily. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get into uh, another game. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that was that was unexpected. All right, let's go ahead and queue up. All right, cool. One's uh, starting up shortly. And then we'll have to go through the whole banning process again, seeing if we get Cuckoo, and then going into what the other person plays. Really surprised about the uh, the enemy nemesis. I thought she had plenty of opportunity to come back from that. I guess she just needed to, she just wanted to get into a different game. I know once once the enemy gets a little bit of a level on you, it's really hard to come back. But I just felt that 
as a mage or an assassin, you have the greatest potential to come back from something like that because a, a few good plays and you're back in it. But apparently that's that wasn't uh, that wasn't what uh, they thought. So let's go ahead and start off with uh, skipping our bands and seeing what the enemy goes with. So uh, first band from the enemy is um, Amuz and Cop, also known as AMC. Next band is Hera, really strong dual god. Next is Merlin, a really strong dual god with a good escape, get his teleport. Bakasura, also good, and Vulcan, one of the uh, more one of the more annoying high damage mages with uh, good good mobility, high damage, and just really really excellent uh, outplay potential. But we today are playing against a Bastet, and looks like this might be a PC player as well. So, alright, let's go ahead and go into a standard starter build against a, best, a Bastet. We're going to need high, high sustain, I think. And now... We're going to see when they're coming around. So we have 12 seconds, and still the timer starts. Well, 8 seconds now. And she's already here, so we're not going to go after minis. I'm not even sure if we're going to contest minis as well, since Bastet has extremely high mobility. Oh, how nice. Let's go ahead and uh, drop our global emote as well. Give her some love. And we will go ahead and get into the game. I'm going to drop my Whirlwind to try to give it the max amount of damage. And I was also able to do that without getting hit by her jump. She has a really good whip. Two different whip abilities that do damage. There's one right there. And I think she got me with both. Alright, now our enemy wave is pushed up to our wave again. We just have to wait for our cooldown on our whirlwind. Oh, and she got me there. Let's go ahead and dive into my own minions and get out. That probably means that she gets damage camp. So let's go ahead and back up. I don't want her to hit me with any more whips, but she did. And we have nine seconds on oh she did not go after damage camp um let's go ahead and dip out of here she may have thought I was diving for side lane not even sure if I want to be in here okay she's over in damage camp now let's go ahead and grab our ultimate and then back while we get the experience from the tower killing that. We'll go into a tier 1 defense immediately. She just wrecks us. Since hopefully she doesn't know where we are, I'm going to go ahead and work on mana camp. I'm going to put my bat right here so that as tower is a ta Oh! Oh dear. And let's go ahead and... Ooh, she's so low. She's so low. And... Oh, and cats. Oh, no. Our dash is down. Our escape. And we are not going to get around the corner in time. Really good job by enemy Bastet. Really good job kind of baiting me there until uh, her cats were ready. And then dropping them on me. So now we have a tier 2 defense, that's going to be a Breastplate of Valor once it's full built. And let's go ahead and grab these minions. She's got the level on us right now. But not horrible. Let's see if XP camp is up. It actually is up, nice. So we actually have the ability to 
level up, get back to get back to level catch up. She's already level seven. Let's go ahead and back. So if she's coming over here for XP camp, we won't run into her, and then we'll just immediately go back to lane. All right. So we know she took damage camp. So we'll just back up a little bit. Nice, we got her with the Zephyr. There she goes. And let's see if we can get her to follow. Yep. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and get her with the boops. And minions. <laughs> Second time today, minions uh, got us the finish on the kill. They are helpful little guys. So we'll just drop that, push our minions into tower, and then just back up where she can't see us. Next wave is coming up. Grab Bless Pity of Valor. And stage four, finishing shoes. I know my mana can visit up um, because she got it. It still shows up on the map, though, until I get close enough to get timer on it. And we're doing the the dual dance. I dropped my whirlwind though to get some minions. Let's go ahead and oh, where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's right there. Let's go ahead. Oh, and damage camp is up. Let's see if we can uh, maybe steal this and then get out. And we got it. And we'll be dipping out now. I think we want... We want Mana Camp. Nice. Oh, there's there's cats. Let's get in the tower. They can help us with this. She's in. Oh no, and that's just going to be too much damage. Yeah. A little bit too much damage from her kit and her cats coming into tower. Tower could not attack them fast enough without a wave in tower with us. That is a bummer. Alright, I'm going to stage into my next item, which is going to need to be perhaps uh, another physical defensive item against her. I need to catch up on level, and I need to be in a position where I can fight. All right, XP camp is back up. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. And let's go see if our mana is back up. I don't think it is yet. All right, now let's go ahead and check. Yeah, it's not up yet. Let's see if maybe we can get a sneaky kill on her. Oh, and I missed her. And I missed her with the whirlwind. So let's go ahead and back up to safety. Oh, wait, there she is. Let's see if we can get her here. There's cats. If we can turn around and give them the Zephyr. And we're able to kill them with a little assistance from the tower. We are really low, though, so we have to play behind the tower. Those are going after the uh, minion wave. Now let's go ahead and go into our next physical defensive item. We'll grab a tier one in it. Our Guardian's Blessing is almost stacked. And we should now be in a good position to grab this wave. Wave is grabbed. Bastet got the, uh, the boops. Oop, let's go ahead and drop a Whirlwind where she would, where she would jump back to. The way her jump works is really interesting because it is um, like a double jump to a certain degree because it allows she jumps and then she uh, for five seconds she has an option to press jump again and then she'll jump back to her original position. So it's really important to understand always whenever you see her jump 
just remember exactly where she jumped from and in doing so you can actually prep start getting your billet abilities off okay here she comes again just go ahead and grab that a second time and then we'll we will dip out and then get out of here after grabbing that wave oh the minions so we're gonna we're gonna need to drop whirlwind see if she'll jump into that and she didn't but we got the zephyr on her all right let's go ahead and grab this see if maybe she can get her to jump on us all right let's go ahead and get out she's so low she knows she's so low she's trying to get a a lucky hit with her whip on me I'm just trying to get her close enough so I can get another bolt on her. Ah! And that's not gonna do it. She got the lucky hit on me, and now that's gonna force me to go back. And actually, she's probably gonna she's probably gonna get my mana camp again. But uh, surprise! I actually have really good sustain without it. just in the way that I build. So it doesn't hurt, le hurt me greatly. It hurts me a little bit. Oh, we uh, pressured off from backing. That's lovely. Oh, there's cats. Let's go ahead and get them in another whirlwind. Oh, she's so low. She's so low. low. Let's see. Oh, ha 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 ha! Through the wall. Getting the uh, Kukul Khan, Spirit of the Nine Winds kill like a boss yeah those those through the wall snipes are really satisfying to pull off but they are really difficult to do so because you are timing where the enemy is going to be and if they aren't trying to juke you they'll run into it but if they know you're going to be dropping your ultimate or a whirlwind then they are going to wait for it or jump over it and best death's case she could have done, done that too but she might not have had the mana or those abilities might not have been up or she just might have thought she was safe alright let's go ahead and just kind of focus wave best death has a hard time taking objectives unless the wave is there to help her with it and that's a bummer. I missed her with that Zephyr. So I can't follow up with the Whirlwind. Let's see if I can maybe pull her here. Kind of want to grab Wave. Oop, got her with the Zephyr and the Whirlwind. There's Wave. Let's see if I can get her to walk into me. I can't. And there's the cats again. Oh, there she, there she is again. If she gets the whip on me, I'm done for. And yeah. That was really close, exceptionally close, but she still got me. <sighs> so, going into uh, Book of Thoth now, we really need to get our damage online, which will also, uh, its passive will also make Breastplate of Valor and Contagion do more work for us. Although we have to wait until we have more monies to buy it. I believe we need 1300 or 1350 so wave is already pushed up to tower let's go ahead and take a look at damage camp damage camp is down wonder if we can kinda guard it and keep her from getting it Ooh. and that was a nice juicy wave of exp okay and damage camp is down now And nice juke, nice juke. So she juked the whirlwind that I was trying to get on her by running close. I have enough money for Book of Thoth now, but I can't take Book of Thoth until I get the wave, the upcoming wave down, so she doesn't take any more poke damage on my tower. Got her in the whirlwind there. And she still has a level on me, 
so I gotta be cognizant of that. Now she got me with the whip as well again. I need to grab this wave. Let's see, she is playing very defensively. Alright, let's go ahead and shield. Let's go ahead and heal. Let's go ahead and now get out of tower. We have wave. We got what we needed to do. And we bought us the time we need to go back. Unfortunately, it was using our relics that bought us that time. And now let's go ahead into our first defensive item, which will be Spear of the Magus. And looks like our mana camp is still down. So let's go ahead and push, pull this wave into tower and take them down and then push up. All right, she, she wants to fight. Let's go ahead and fight. Ooh, wave is down. Damn it, she got me with the uh, the whip again. Let's see if I can get her with the, and I did. Oh, she's gonna sanctuary away. And there's cats, there's cats. I need to run, I need to run. And cats got me again. Double defense still got me. She's one hit though, but that's not gonna that's not gonna mean much. The minions aren't gonna be able to finish her off unless she makes a mistake there. So we need a few more seconds to come back. I don't think she's gonna take. Oh, we might be able to get the second tier spear of the Magus. Let's go ahead and grab that. She is at tower. She's at tower. She's low. She's low. And it's been destroyed. And so she does get it. And she does get away. Let's see if we can catch her. Yep, there she is. Let's go ahead and grab wave. And let's go ahead and grab damage camp. And then we'll go ahead and meet up with our team to grab damage camp. I'm sorry, not damage camp. To grab tower. She'll probably jump over that like she just did. And then she's going to slow me like she just did. Go ahead and grab, grab drop whirlwind. Whew. We have nine seconds on our ultimate. If I can shoot her a little bit, maybe I can get her in the sneaks. Alright, so there is our next relic. Let's see if we can get her to follow us. Yep, there she is. She jumped back into the whirlwind. That should be it. And we got the kill on her. Of course, we are one hit ourselves. But we are in a good position to push up wave. Let's go ahead and grab... Yep, this is up. Let's go ahead and grab her mana camp with the time. Then if XP camp is up, and it is, we'll go ahead and grab this. And then if our mana camp is up, we'll grab, yep, we'll grab that as well. So all full buff control, all four buffs. We got uh, both manas, hers and ours, XP camp, and we are wearing damage camp. We have enough money to finish Spear of the Magus. And now let's go ahead and get back into lane. We are even level currently with the enemy Bastet. There she is. We juked the... Well, we juked one of the... Oh, and she's all over the place. Let's go ahead and do some work there. And we're really low. So let's go ahead and get out. Oh, she jumped over the wall for us. Let's see if we can do some work. She got us with the whip again. And missed with the Zephyr that time. But we did zone her out a little bit with the well-placed Whirlwind. And we actually got the level on her. Hmm. Alright, so we have 2100. Let's go ahead and go into Spectral Armor. So she is not building, yeah, she is not building crit. 
so Spectral Armor's passive isn't going to come into play. But it is a strong... Let's see if we can get her to sneak. Nope, we can't. So we'll just take that. But it's a strong def a physical defensive item. And it has a lot of mana. That's one of my favorite items. Let's go ahead and take her cats down. Take her down. Maybe we can bait her to come over here a little bit. Oh no, I have no health. I have no health. Boop. And again with the kill. Oh, and another surrender. All right. <laughs> I guess she didn't think she could come back from that. But, you know, as you could tell, it was an even game all the way. She had plenty of time to come back. I don't think I could have taken her Titan. Um, definitely her Phoenix. But uh, she decided to give us the game. Well, <laughs> if you enjoyed that as much as I did, please give me a like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And if you'd like to get notified next time I upload a video, please go ahead and smash that notification bell. Uh, please keep holding it and press all. Thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day.